Hi, this is Rick Adams from Practical CSM. And um, somebody asked me the other day from a very large uh, technology company, in my opinion, is, is customer success management really just for SaaS companies? Or does it have a place in wider organizations than just SaaS? And for me, I mean, most definitely the answer is yes, it, ha it definitely has a place. Uh, for many, many organizations outside of software as a service. Of course, it started with software as a service, as we all know. You know, Salesforce sort of came up with the, the the basic sort of principle, although, you know, arguably, actually, of course, we've been doing very similar things, but just not in, in such an organized way you know, for very many years. Of course, we've always been helping customers to use our products and services. Of course, we have. Uh, but to organize it into a particular role um, is something that came from uh, the, uh, the the SaaS world. Uh, and of course, it was with a particular focus on, on the concept of uh, churn, uh, uh, reducing churn and, and increasing retention uh, for our customers' uh, SaaS contracts. But look at it this way, all right? I mean, if you were, and this particular person that uh, was asking me the question, they're from a very, very large, yeah, well-known brand name um, technology vendor. You would you would know their name, you would. Um, and um, I, I said to them, put it this way, your organization, yeah, how many, how much of your revenue of your organization overall coming from what you sell directly and what you sell through you know, all the thousands of reseller partners you have throughout the world, what percentage of that revenue comes from brand new, net new customers who have never used your products and services before? And what percentage of your annual revenue actually comes from existing customers who are buying more of your products and services? And I don't know the answer, and but I would guess that the larger percentage by quite a long way is going to be the uh, existing customers coming back and buying more because pretty much everyone has already bought some of it. And so this uh, marketing and selling conversation now is primarily, I would suggest, marketing and selling to existing customers. And of course, customer success managers have a very important part to play in their quarterly reviews or however often you have those reviews. If they're meant to be business reviews, right? QBRs, quarterly business reviews. And so we're talking to the customer and we're um, understanding to uh, or helping them to understand how our products and services are changed and what's, what's new and what, what's fantastic that we've got. Sure. But actually, you know, the, the standard rule, we've got um, one mouth but two ears, so we should be listening twice as much as we're talking, and we should be listening to what the customer has to say about their situation, as I said, their challenges, uh, their um, initiatives, uh, their uh, strategies and tactics, what they're trying to achieve, uh, what, what their, where their headaches lie, uh, what personally also in terms of challenges and headaches and problems uh, our in, initial our stakeholders are um, uh, uh, staying awake at night worrying about that we might be able to help them with and then coming up with ideas to say well look this is how I think we can actually help you more than we're doing already which might be as simple as let's do more of what we're already doing and let's go from phase one to phase two of, of this uh, initiative because we've now proved it's a success and here's the the measurements to show it or it could be something completely different, and it's uh, not so much an upsell as a cross-sell, as it were, where we're now saying, well, look, now now that you've seen the quality of what we, we've delivered and hopefully you trust us, perhaps we could talk a little bit more about this other thing that you're trying to achieve that perhaps is even more important uh, to you than what you originally are working with us on that we could also potentially help you with, and we'd love to do so. You know, can we have that conversation, please? So uh, these are the things that we need to be doing in, in customer success management to really help our, our organization to grow. We're not going to grow uh, from almost all uh, technology companies if we stick to uh, net new sales and marketing. Yeah, we need to be doing um, sales and marketing with our existing customers and our customer success managers have a very important part to play, both improving the value and delivering, helping to deliver and then prove, I should say, the value of what you already bought from us. And also then discussing the art of, well, what else can we um, 
uh, what else can we help you with? And and that's a conversation that might be perhaps started in that business review. And perhaps, depending upon how your organization is set up, you then pass that across to an account manager or a salesperson to follow up and deal with it in, in more depth. Nothing wrong with that. Perhaps actually the customer success manager carries on that conversation for at least you know a period or is, is continues to be involved in some way. Nothing wrong with that approach either, by the way. So there we go. So um, is customer success management something that uh, is required or needed or beneficial outside of SaaS? Oh, absolutely. Most definitely. Certainly anything in technology that is complex, uh, that where you want uh, repeat business from your customer, you, you want to retain them, you want to maximize the value from them in the future, you want to keep them for as long as possible and generate as much revenues from them as possible for as long as possible, then we definitely want customer success managers. 